Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. Today we're back once again with Genshin Impact. So today the plan is to move on to Liyue. Now there's many reasons I want to do this. One, I know you guys want to see it. I really want to see it. And our characters are very underleveled that are from Liyue. And in the last stream, we actually started the Wishful Drops event, which takes place partly in Liyue. So I couldn't finish it in the stream. However, that does leave us some exploring to do in this video. And before we begin, I just want to thank you guys once again for all the support on the stream and just on the channel in general you guys are phenomenal and you blow my mind every single time without further ado let's get back into the game right so we're back into the game as you can see we have a quest to talk to Catherine at Liyue Harbor that's gonna be our primary objective today now before we begin I just want to show you guys this okay debate club it's all right <gasps> okay we got official is I hope that's pronounced right I really do okay that's a queen that's pretty good right that's a win that's a win. I really want Rosaria, but that's a win. I'm not going to downplay that because that's a, that's our second Electro. And it's our second bow user. Skyrider sword. Um, first sword. Barbara. Okay. That's also good because I want to take Barbara. I do like Barbara. So that's a um, constellation. I think that's C2 Barbara now. That's pretty good. Okay. Oh... Uh... I don't know, boys. Barbara again? <laughs> no! Oh, no! Okay, no, this is good. This, this is... Uh... Barbara's like... I do, I, wanna, I do want to use Barbara. To be fair, this is, this is good. Two Barbaras? Oh, we got... We got... Favonius Lance as well. There we have it. As you saw, we managed to pull Fischl on the last stream, which was absolutely amazing. And we also got C3 Barbara, which is... Absolutely wonderful. I really want to use Barbara later on as one of my main support characters, so that's perfect. So yeah, if we look at the map, we can actually see that we have a lot to explore still in Liyue. We barely touched the entrance. We went down the main road, got a couple of the waypoints, but that's about all we did. We have to go all the way down here uh, to Liyue Harbor. Now, this is very far away. As you can see here, this is the Wishful Drops event. Um, so we actually have to open this part of the map. Now, I didn't do this on stream because I wanted to open the map on video as I didn't want to spoil myself. That's what we're going to do today. Now, I know a lot of you were waiting for Dragon Spine. I will get to that. I've seen a lot of comments tell me to go to Liyue first, and I do agree, mainly because all of my Liyue characters are like level 20, and my world rank is gradually increasing more and more and more, and my level 20 characters cannot fight the level 50 world enemies, so I really want to get those guys leveled up. Okay, so first things first, we're actually going to get the Geo abilities back, purely because of the fact that apparently that's very useful here, so we're going to do that. I think I can even even worship some to the statue yeah there we go aha brilliant max stamina increased twice okay perfect now let's just start heading south i guess whoa look at that i did see this in the distance the last time we were here whoa that is such a cool like tree house i mean i was gonna say my 12 year old self would be impressed with that but i mean <laughs> i'm still impressed with it now so that's kind of irrelevant <laughs> So what I am going to do is I am going to stick to the road. I know I'm probably going to miss a lot of things on the sides of the roads. So I'm going to miss ceilings. I'm going to miss chests. I'm going to miss uh, geoculus. It's all good. I will definitely come back on a stream most likely and just explore the area a bit more. So if you want to see me explore more, the best place to see me is on the streams. Ooh, silk flowers. Oh, the wooden bridge. Whoa. Whoa. That is so cool. Now, I'm not sure what this is. Um, I don't have to go here um, for any of the quests that I currently have. I did see there was a quest in there. Um, for now, I'm going to go past it. Do let me know if there's anything important in there. I will definitely come back to it. But obviously, if there's something worth going back for already, then do let me know. Man, this area is so beautiful. Okay, it looks like we are now entering a part of the map that we haven't opened up yet. So we need to find the statue. Okay, so I am going to detour to go and get this. Um, I will also do this while we're here. So this is part of the new event, which I said earlier. Uh, so we will be doing that as well today. All right, it looks like we got some rude dudes up ahead. Boom. Bap. Pow. Oh, man, the battle music in this area is so good. Boom. We can do the plunge attacks. Aha. <laughs> Geo travel is actually a lot of fun. I, I gave it a bit of a um, harsh 
review last time. I say harsh review. I just said I wasn't um, too keen on it. But I do like the idea of being able to plunge attack freely. I think that's a lot of fun. This is such a cute atmosphere. I love this so much. Okay, this looks like a broken bridge. Oh, it's very broken indeed. Knock, knock. Who's there? Amber. Yeah. <laughs> Let's knock you off. <laughs> off you go. Your turn, buddy. There we go. Okay, we can kind of glide across. Um, we are going to have to swim a little bit, but that's fine. There's a Geo Oculus here as well, which we can grab while we're here. This looks like a job. The Geo Traveler. There we go. Perfect. Let's grab this. There we go. Whoa, look at the cliffs. This place is crazy cool. Ah, and here's the event. So actually, let me show you guys. Now, a lot of you guys have probably already seen this. Now, what we have to do is we've met a little, not a Seelie, it's like a mini oceanid creature. And it's called Endora. Now, Endora's trying to learn new things, is trying to uh, understand the world. And to do this, we have to go and capture, kind of like Pokemon style, you guys have put it to me in the stream. And I really like that. We have to use um, Endora's bubble effect to capture the water creatures. Now, it's going to give us different locations. We're going to get a bunch of primos and items items and money for that, so that's wonderful. We did do the first two areas on stream because it was sort of in the entrance of Leoware that we've already explored, so I didn't have a problem doing it there. Uh, but now it wants us to go a bit more into Leoware, so we now have this area here. There we go, look, there's Endora. Hello, Endora. So if we press our Z and then hold E. Whee! <laughs> there we go. So we just capture them like that with the bubbles, and yeah, it will increase our research progress. Oh, we've got some frogs over there, actually. I've not seen the frog ones yet. Now, I don't know if I've stated this in the videos, but we did actually fight um, Oceanid on the stream, and we did actually manage to beat it, but this was a while ago now when my um, world rank wasn't very high, so... Uh-oh, we got some bad boys incoming. Lisa, you know what to do. Here we go. Try not to enjoy this too much. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the Electro Charge. Oh, the Electro Charge is so good. There we go. Perfect. Now, it does seem like the statue might be up on this cliff. I did see a Geooculus up here. I might accidentally call them Animoculuses. <laughs> so I do apologize if I do. Okay, I hear the uh, Animoculus. I hear the uh, Animoculus. Animoculus. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. Okay, we got it. Perfect. Geooculus. Okie dokie, we're climbing on up. Now, is there anything <laughs> hidden back here? Ooh. Okay, now do I need Claymore for this? I do! Wow, that was a hidden chest. Oh, okay, there's another Geooculus here as well, so there we go. Let's put uh, Geo Traveler down. Boom! Got it. Nice. We should, as we climb up here, there it is. There's the Statue of the Seven. There we go! Oh, perfect. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's a chest up here too. Okay. Yoink! <laughs> right, now let's go down. Uh, we still need to head south. So that's where we're going to go. Man, this area is just incredible to look at. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now, I am going to come down to this area because this is obviously in the uh, radius for the event. And obviously, all of the water animals are going to be here. So, um, I'm going to grab them while we're here. And can I just say, isn't Endora just so cute? Just just look at this little bean. You are adorable. Oh, this poor dude. Look at him. He's getting frozen by the flower. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll save you, buddy. There you go. So yeah, I feel like this is going to be a really good uh, combination of opening up the, the map, getting to Leoa, and just exploring as well. So you, we're getting a bit of everything in this video. But it does look like all of the water creatures are now in this camp. So uh, we're going to have to uh, fight our way through this one. All right. Bubbles. We're going to get the frog. Boom. Oh, wow. Okay, we got a, we got a lot here. Oh, they've seen us. All right, let's get this boar quickly. There we go. We got him. Nope. Perfect. That's you down. And last but not least is you up there. Okay, we knocked him off. Oh, man, the music is so good. I love it so much. <laughs> yes, Amber, you queen. Oh, more of them have seen us. And boom, last but not least, got you. And we got the chest. Nice. Have a bubble. <laughs> oh, is that a ruin hunter? Oh, my word. Okay, we're not going to go near that. Come here, duck. Oh, we got it. Okay, never mind. So if we go to the event, we can actually see that we can claim our primos now. Yes, perfect. What else have we got? So we got these two places. Now we've got Mesmerizing Lakeshore next. Where is that on the map? Ah, see, yes. No, this is very good that we opened up the map then because it's even further south. Whoa, is that a giant shell? Oh, it is a shell. 
<laughs> it's a house. Oh, that's so cute. There's also a Geoculus here. So we're going to grab that while we're here. Whoa. Okay. So this, we're, we're getting closer. There here we go. We're at the area now, but this place looks crazy cool. Uh, just this whole area. Oh, I love it so much. All right, here we go. It's bubble time. Boop. Here we go. Bubble. There we go. We got that one. All right. Frozen boar down. Bubble. We got the duck. And let's get this duck as well. Boop. Oh, it does actually look like the waypoint is up on this cliff. So let's climb up there and get it. Ah, here it is. We found it. Oh, there's a guard here. Okay. Hello, little duck. You are right, mate? You are right, mate? Boop. <laughs> yes, there we go. Oh, this area is cute. Look at this. Okay, we're actually 86% uh, of the way through it already. So we shouldn't need too many more. This area is so cute. Oh my god, look at this. Yes, and we did it. Okay, so we already did it. This is so cute. Oh my, what I love this. The multi-level pools. The trees as well. Look at the trees. Right, now since we've done this next bit, we can get the primos. And also... Okay, so it seems like the last one unlocks in 16 hours. Um, I won't be able to do that now. So what we're going to do is I'll do that one off camera. Anything that I do... I will update on in the next video or on the stream. Don't worry. I will make sure I get the event done though. Yeah, because if you see here, now the rewards for um, completing exploration of all five areas will unlock Primo's, Mora, and also, I believe this is an Endora pet, which is adorable. Now, I haven't got a pet before. I know I've got the balloon from the Wind Bloom Festival. I'm actually really excited for it. Okay, so now we're just going to head to the Statue of the Seven. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we almost ran out of stamina. Look how high we are. By the looks of the minimap, I don't even think I needed to come up here. But there is a there is a Geoculus. So, I mean, it's it's worth it to grab that anyway. Okay, we made it to the top. Oh, cute. There's like a little fire. Oh, it makes a wind current. Ah, and there's the Geoculus. Okay. Oh. My word. That's got to be the harbor for sure. Look. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Okay, I'm so excited to get down there, but... Oh my god, that's amazing. It is Leo Harbour! Oh, just look at that, man. Okay, so we didn't exactly take the road to get here, but that's fine. You know what? We'll catch up with everything that we missed. There we go. Yes, look at that! Okay, we've opened up Leo Harbor. Oh, and there's the um, Geo Hyperstasis. We need this for Noel. Okay, so from this point, I'm going to follow the road just so I can take it in how the game wants me to see it for the first time. And I'm sure that will be like the best view of it as well. I mean, up there was pretty good as a view. But uh, yeah, obviously coming into it as you as intended is probably the best way to do it. Oh my god. I... <laughs> What? Oh my god, look at that! What? That is incredible. Oh my what? I'm just speechless, man. Like I can't e I don't even know what to say. Like that is that is so cool. Oh, this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, my word. I wonder who we're going to meet here as well. I mean, I have a good idea of some of them, but... Whoa. That is so cool. Yeah, I've not seen any of this before. This is incredible. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, and this looks like the um, the market area because we've got the, the general goods and the alchemy stuff. Really got a lot going for it. it really does. You're right. <laughs> oh, is this Catherine? Ad Astra Hello, I have a letter for you. A letter for me? Oh, so you're an adventurer from Mondstadt. Yes. What's this? A dandelion? Why is there a dandelion in, in the envelope? Adventurer, did you place a dandelion in the envelope to try and prove you are from Mondstadt? There's really no need. There's more than enough information contained in this letter to establish our identity and background. It wasn't me. Not that it really matters, of course. This letter from the Mondstadt Adventurers Guild says that you are a highly experienced adventurer. If that's true, I'm sure you're ready to take on commissions from Leo's Adventurer Guild. Yes. A whole new world of wild adventure awaits you. Ad Astra Abazosk. Thank you, uh, Catherine. I'm sure there's a lot that we've missed in Mondstadt, um, and obviously we'll go back and do them as and when we accept or need to go back. But right now, I just want to take in Leo Harbor. Like, honestly, I just, I'm just blown away. Just look at this. Like, ah. Oh. 
That is so cool. Okay, so we do actually have a quest for Liwa Harbor, which is talk to G Tong. So fix that camera of his. Okay, so we're gonna go and talk to G. Oh, okay. If you wanna find the Geo Archon, this is the only chance you'll get all year. Yes, true. Okay, yeah, so we're looking for the Geo Archon because he appears like once a year, and this is the time of year that he appears. Guess it's a good thing Venti brought it up earlier. Otherwise, we definitely would have missed this year's Rite of Dissension. Do you know when it is? Do you know where it I guess where? Well, Venti brought up the time, but Baiman knows nothing about where it is. <laughs> Okay. Oh, right. About the Geo Archon Morax. Morax? Did you know the Mora that we use is named after this god? That makes sense. But it's seen as impolite for people from outside Liyue to refer to the Geo Archon by that name. Okay, so it's more of a so formal we name. we should refer to the Geo Archon by the name Rex Lapis, like the people of Liyue do. Okay. Rex Lapis. Okay. Of the land amidst monoliths. Okay, so we've started the um, Geo Archon story, I guess. Right, so talk to the locals. I'm gonna talk to G anyway. Traveler, hold on a second. What's up? I know this is a bit sudden, but do you have any interest in cameras? Sure, a little. Well, this camera here is no ordinary camera. It uses the latest technology from Fontaine. The photos printed by the model all come from a unique effect not offered by the standard camera. Okay, how does it do that? Hey, I'm telling you the absolute truth here. If you don't believe me, you can ask about it in the Adventurers Guild. I was skeptical at first too. I played around with it for ages, but I couldn't get it working. Eventually, one of the adventurers from the guild gave me a hand. Now, you must be wondering, what makes this camera so different? Well, it's to do with the internal design. It takes a certain kind of potion that adds a special effect during printing process, making the photos look much better than those printed by your average camera. What do you think? If you're interested, I can let you play around with this one for a while. It has limited variety of potions, but enough for you to get a feel for how it works. I plan to make a trip to Fontaine at some point to purchase some new varieties, so if you're interested, I hope to have your custom then. Okay. All right then, thanks. Please keep this camera as a token of my esteem. If you're enjoying it, I'd appreciate your business in the future. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have to talk to some of the locals now. So, hello. Right of dissension. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Isn't that today? Once a year, Rex Lapis bestows upon us his divine prediction, guiding us on how to run Liu for the coming year. Last year, it was the Yuhang of the Liu Chising that was given the honor of asking for the divine prediction. Liu Chising. Paimon knows this one. Mon's status to freedom as Liyue is to contracts. Liyue has a strong focus on business and trade. Okay. The Liyue Kissing, the seven leaders of the seven enterprises of Liyue, hold true control over Liyue. That's what foreigners always say. <laughs> but true control over Liyue will always be held by Rex Lapis. The Chising is comprised of mere mortals. Rex Lapis is a god. Mondstadt's god is nowhere to be seen, whilst our god is forever with us. The shade. Stay in Liyue long enough and you'll see. Given that you just left your godless city, it's time you experienced what it's like to be in a city whose god has walked with it through all of history. I mean, props to Rex, but man, don't don't shade my boy Venti. What's that all about? <laughs> oh, are you also foreigners here for the Rite of Dissension? To think I've lived in Liyue all these years and never come to see this before. <laughs> I guess it's like they say, locals never visit the tourist spots. I wish you well on your travels. Liyue always welcomes you. Thank you. You too wish to bear witness to the rite of dissension? <laughs> Me too. We all do. As a businessman myself, how could I not take interest in Liyue's most important business trends? The 17 predictions given last year made more than a few ripples throughout the industry. Mm. <laughs> What's more, there's been a rumor going around that the Tianxue herself, Ning Guang, has <gasps> been acting secretly in the shadows. Ning. She Where wants she? the rocks created by GeoVision holders to be exempt from taxation. Wow, that's some super professional legal stuff, that is. <laughs> <laughs> to be on the pulse of the predictions and the market is what makes this harbor what it is. Among the seven, Rex Lapis is the oldest deity. His keen sense of strategy is well trusted among his people. 
Understanding the predictions as soon as possible can make all the difference in making your fortune. Wise words. Fortune? So where can we see this ride of dissension anyway? Hmm. You're not at all close. Not to mention that if I gave you directions, as foreigners, you'd get lost along the way. Hey, I've got waypoints, dude. So better to head to Eugene Terrace, to the high ground. Sounds like the best place for trying to communicate with deities, no? Okay, sounds good. Ah, oh, these walkways are so cool! <laughs> Are you okay? Hello? It's home time. I'm not going home. I'm going to look for mummy. But mummy isn't coming home. Why won't mummy come home? Does mummy not love us anymore? Hey, don't say such silly things. But I know I saw the lady with black clothes bring mummy here. Oh no! What happened was mummy is one of the stars in the sky. Ah! Oh! You mean mummy isn't sleeping anymore? You're lying? I don't believe you. I'm telling you the truth. Listen, how about we wait until night time and I'll take you up onto the roof when you see the starlight and you will feel mummy's loving eyes looking down. <laughs> Leo, what is that all about? I was just vibing on the walkway. I didn't need to get hit with that. That hit me right in the feels. I think I found it. Paimon heard that the best time to make a wish is today during the rite of dissension. Wanna give it a try? Oh, it's one of these things. It's like an incense thing, right? Your first time in Leah? Actually, it's my first time to see the Rite of Dissension, too. Ah, look, that's Miss Ningguang of the Leo Shishu. <gasps> Only those who have control in Leah can preside over the Rite of Dissension. Oh, yeah, not sure if you knew, but most of the Adepti appear in the form of various beasts. I heard that when attending these kinds of formal occasions, Rex Lapis himself appears as a celestial cross between two of Lyra's ancient mythical creatures. Ah, sorry, I shouldn't interrupt your wish. Please, take this. I wish I could get some leads from the Geo Archon. Ooh, that's so cool. Oh, we need to do it twice? Okay. Oh, you also want a little Adepti luck too? Hi. <laughs> Seems you know a lot. Making a wish during this time is sure to get you the blessings of both the Adepti and Rex Lapis himself. I've already made my wish, so you can take this. Great, thanks! Thank you. I wish I could find my sister soon. Great! Now that we're all done with the wishing, guess we can just wait here for things to get started. Yes. Mm. Who knows how long that Miss Ning Wong lady is gonna take? Join the crowd and wait for the right to begin. Okay. Whoa, look at all the people! We gotta get up front. We can't see squat back here. <laughs> Pamon can fly. Hi, Ning. The hour is upon us. That doesn't look good. Ning, are you okay? Oh! Re is that Rex? Rex, are you okay? Oh no! Rex Lapis have been killed. See <gasps> the exits. No! I mean, that's the first, that's the best way to cause panic. What? I wouldn't. What's going on? I don't know, Paimon. Did she just say Rex Lapis is, the Geo Archon is dead? Oh no, the Melolith. Looks like they're nabbing suspects who got too close. 
Paimon's freaking out. The killer is amongst us. Paimon, don't freak Wait. out. We got close. Are we suspects? <laughs> Maybe. Wait, where are you going? Oh no. Escape. There's a whole bunch of soldiers out there too. It wasn't us, was it? Oh. You mean? Run. <laughs> No, 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 you don't see me. Okay, okay. I don't think we were supposed to full sprint. Oh, no. That guy's definitely going to see us. Look at him. <laughs> well, that's not suspicious at all. Here. Run! Oh, no. Glide! There's nowhere to run. Hey, buddy. Hold still. <gasps> it's child! Wow, look at him go! Oh, what a king! Stop! Stop! Come with me. Okay. That was cool. Hyman's <laughs> exhausted. Just what muscles does magical floating use exactly? Oh yeah, hello. Just who are you exactly? Good question. Call me child. Child, it is child. Child? What, so we're supposed to dote on you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's an alias of sorts. Okay. In Mondstadt, I don't suppose you came across a senora by any chance. Ah, yeah, we did. A senora? Child? <gasps> You're Fatui, one of the Harbingers. Oh my oh, god, is he? No. Don't worry, I'm not looking for a fight. Signora gave you quite the bad impression, huh? Pfft, uh, I mean... Woman. Can't say I'm a fan either. Yeah. Right. Let's forget all about her, shall we? I'm here to help you. Okay. I mean, help? Yes, help. I'm not a bad guy. Oh, okay, perhaps I'm kind of a bad guy, but I'm not here to give you any trouble. Would it be too much to ask for you to keep the sword sheathed? I thank you for your knightly nobility. I heard of your deeds in Mondstadt, so I couldn't help but notice you during the proceedings back there. And because I had my eye on you the whole time, I know it wasn't you. Someone else was clearly behind it. Okay. But, regrettably, given I'm a Fatui envoy from Snezhnaya, there's no way I'd be trusted after something of this magnitude. The ruling Chi Sing of Liyue has always been overly suspicious of us. With well, can you rightly so. Blame them? Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Paimon. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't try to deny that. <laughs> okay, sure. Maintaining a distance between strangers is probably a good idea. Either way, I'm already used to it at this stage. But right now, if you want to clear yourselves of any suspicion, you need to get yourselves to Northland Bank. Staying here isn't an option. As the old Liyue saying goes, the walls have ears. Talk to child at the Northern Bank. Okay. I, that was a lot, but... So it wasn't us. He's confirmed that it wasn't us, so we don't need to worry about that. But we still need to lay low for, uh, for a while. Oh, okay, so it's up on the walkway. Hello, child. Northland Bank. Correct. This bank was opened here in Liyue by Snezhnaya. Though everyone knows Liyue is the most enterprising in Tevat, Snezhnaya is not short of change either. Yeah, well, poorer nations don't seem the type to have diplomats that come around acting the way yours do towards the Knights of Favonia. That's true. <laughs> Here, let me give you this. This is a... I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes all money can buy is things and not a name for oneself. <laughs> all I know is that it's a sigil. A sigil to keep the mighty and illuminated Adepti from bringing harm to you. Adepti? If you head north from the harbor, then west from Gwaili Plains, you will eventually reach a stone forest known as Jueyun Karst. Okay. The people of Liyue believe it to be the abode of the Adepti. Yeah, isn't that just a legend? Legend or not, they believe it. As such, offerings to the Adepti are made at its borders. Nobody dares venture in. Okay. But I have no need for believing. Not when I know for a fact that the Adepti truly exist. Oh. Hate to admit it, but your Fatui intel seems all right. But why would we go looking for Adepti anyway? Another good question. <laughs> oh, my little friend. There are plenty of reasons mortals seek the blessings of Adepti. 
Money, health, love. But you, you will go for justice. Justice? Justice? The Chi Sing will already have dispatched the Millilith. They'll be seeking out the assassin from amongst the onlookers. But how could a mere mortal kill a god yeah, that can sweep aside entire armies? Rex Lapis never gave up his power as a god. This level of crude response is beyond what is called for. How suspicious. Yeah, are they trying to hide? Or to hide for? something else. Hard to say. Mm. Even now, the Northland Bank wouldn't be able to hold the Millilith off for long. But the Adepti can clear you of any wrongdoing. Okay. Liyue was founded by the Geo Archon and the Adepti. Of course, it was built by force. Look for them and be faster than the Chi Sing's messengers. So you may give your version of events first. Okay. If there is anyone that can help you in Liyue now, it can only be the mighty and illuminated Adepti. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so it wants us to actually go to a new part of the map again. So we have this we have this statue here, and we have this statue up here. So it wants us to go all the way up there. Okay, guys, but I think we'll leave it there for today. Uh, next time, we will go and meet the Adepti and try and clear our names. And uh, yeah, just see where the story of Leoware takes us. I am blown away by this part of the map. Honestly, Mondstadt was really cool. This place equally amazing like honestly both areas have such unique environments it's so beautiful but yeah that was super fun to finally explore leoa what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a proper explore on the next stream and yeah as i said i will finish the endora event off camera slash off stream so don't worry i will get all the rewards from that but just before we head off i want to give a massive thank you to our members who are captain jace lu o sun hannah cory huang li velzard Helen nix Curagain, Potato Senpai, Dominic Tarados, Ho, and D. Chris Wong. And a massive thank you to our full-on wizard member who is Sparky007. Thank you guys so much. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you as always. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.